You, you were something of a mathematical phenom. You had already taught at Harvard and MIT at a young age. No. How did you stay ahead of the pack? I had hired a few. Some made money. Some didn't make money. Some made business. Some made stock. But, but right. any one anomaly might be just a random thing. People got very mad at my investment. Oh, God, okay, cool. I just got. Uh, there's a capacity to the but should, fund. But should we worry about the hedge fund industry yep. attracting yep. too yep. much of the world's great yep. mathematical yep. and other yep. talent to work on that as opposed to the yep. many other problems in well, the world? It's not just mathematical. We, we hired yep. astronomers and physicists yep. and uh, 5 and 44. That's what we charge. 5 and 44. 5% yeah, so fixed fee. 5% percent flat, 44% of upside. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. You still yep. made your investor spectacular we amounts made of money. good return. Okay, so here's this thing. It has eight vertices and 12 edges. You could do this any which way. Cover this thing with all kinds of polygons. Now, here's a different shape. This is a torus or the surface of a donut. This is kind of a graph from the old days. Uh, commodities or currencies, vestigial system. So, so you would test a bunch of sure. different sort of lengths of trends and time sure. and, and see whether, for example, a 10-day sure. trend or a 15-day sure. trend was predicted sure. what happened sure. next. Sure, sure. You would... Uh, so that's what we did. And uh, gradually, these models got better and 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 better. So thank you for your amazing life and for coming here to TED. Okay. Thank you. Jim Simon. Thank you.